Morning everyone, I'm going to try and vlog a little bit every day this week. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm going to give it a go. It's Monday morning, we've spent the whole morning trying to make Grey um, better. I won't go into details, but she's just been so upset this morning. Oh, it's just heartbreaking when they're like not well. But hopefully she'll be better later on today. Rich is looking after her today. Monday is work day for me. And the first thing I do in the morning is record the podcast with Anna. It's 10 to 10. She just texts me saying she's ready and that I should give a call so I've just got my microphone and headphones set up and I'm going to FaceTime her and we're going to record the episode so once we record and like with a bit of chatting before and afterwards I'll probably be finished around 12 o'clock. I've already done my makeup and hair kind of for the day because I think I might film a video afterwards like a favourites video hopefully. This morning my home renovation like our five best home renovation decisions that reel I don't know if you guys saw it has reached a million views which is so exciting I've never reached like a million anything I had like one YouTube video once that went viral so this reel obviously got picked up in the algorithm and it's done really well and it's just really exciting it's just nice every now and again to have like a little pick me up like that it kind of keeps me motivated to do more so thank you if you watched that reel if you commented if you liked it if you shared it because all of those things make like a massive difference on Instagram. Okay, podcast is recorded. Like I said, it's half 12. It literally takes up half the day. I'm probably gonna head downstairs now and make myself some lunch. And then I need to film a favorites video. And then I need to kind of compile some content that I shot on the weekend for a brand. Um, I did like a reel and some stories. I kind of need to put it all together, put the text, write the caption and send it over to my management team so they can send it to the brand to approve, hopefully. Update on the flower. I mean, look at this, it is like shot up. It is so tall. I mean, is it just gonna stay here now? Does it go eventually? I'm very confused by this little flower that's just sprouted out of my plant. Lunch today, like most days, is a bagel with cheese, pickle, salad, and avocado. I've just come downstairs to check on Rich, who's touching up our paint with, um, Haig blue farron ball. I've just realised what paintbrush we're using. I tried to use find the smallest one. It's Gray's paintbrush. <clears throat> but no, we have had, I think when we got our new um, cupboards built here, it obviously created some movement and we've got a crack all the way down here, which just looks so it. bad. Oh my God, Rich, it's like a deep crack. Yeah. A deep, sorry, that sounds wrong. Oh my gosh, how satisfying though is a... Uh, <gasps> Oh, I just want to like dip my finger in it. Okay, go Day. on. Actually works, it gets in the cracks. Yeah? I think so. Oh, it's such a different colour though. I feel like we are forever putting stuff in the loft, but Rich is just going to take some stuff up to the loft and while he's up there, he's just going to measure the height of the ceiling because I mentioned in a previous vlog that we've started like getting drawings done for the loft and basically the ceiling is really low. Like loft ceilings are usually quite low, but ours, the drawings have come back with really really low ceilings almost like no point doing it it would literally be just above rich's head so we are now in talks of like how we can really maximize the space maybe we can do something clever with the beams or with the floor to make more space in there rich has just gone up to do some measuring oh i really hope we can what is it 2.37 what does that mean she got 2.30 okay it's time to wake up did you have a lovely nap mm. It's Tuesday today, me and Grey have just been getting ready. I do my makeup while she's sitting on my lap and now she literally opens every product and like puts it on. And she like knows how to open mascara, nightmare. This morning we are gonna go to a playground and then I'll come back and chat to you guys in a bit. What do you want to go on? On the swings. Oh. Now we're going to do poo sticks, throwing the sticks in the water. What do we do with the stick in the water? No, don't. We throw it? Yeah. We're home and we are playing with Lego. Grey's lunch today is a jacket potato with cheese and beans, but we're having slight toddler meal issues at the moment where she just kind of wants to run off and play with toys instead. It's quite hard to get her to sit and eat. Um, I think it's pretty normal. I'm pretty sure this is when people start using iPads at meals, but we're trying to find some other ways to get her to sit and eat, but oh, patience. Grey, do you want your lunch? Morning. Because I know she's hungry. 
She loves her food, but she wants to sit and watch it in front of the TV. We've got some popping peas and they've got her back interested in the meal. So while she's busy popping the peas, <laughs> I'm feeding her. Ah, good girl. Can you open more peas for me, please? Thank you. Mmm, yummy peas. I got a delivery from Zara. It's clothes for grey, so I thought I'd quickly show you guys. I'm always having to buy her stuff. Um, she's about to go into age two to three, um, and then it starts lasting for longer. Like, it's, it's a whole year, whereas it's like to 3, 3 to 6, and then it starts being like 6 to 12, 12 to 24. And now finally we're almost in the stage where clothes hopefully should last a year but I feel like I'm constantly having to buy her a new wardrobe. Like we're going into spring and she just has absolutely no like spring clothes. I thought I'd show you some of the bits I got. I think we might have to try some on and if they don't fit I might have to send them back. Oh my god I love that. That is a little shirt. Um, it's almost like a cheesecloth material with cherries. That is very sweet, I love that. Tops are easy because they could be oversized, so I knew I could go for two to three, but trousers, I'm not so sure. Big chunky cardigan, she hasn't really got many cardigans, so I thought that would be good for like an uh, extra layer. This is like a wrap cardigan. It looked really cute on the model. This for the summer. Oh my God, little denim short dungarees. I loved this, it was like a jumper short set, peach jumper and little shorts to go with it. A set of three t-shirts, waffle knits, like sage green leggings, and a waffle knit beige t-shirt, a hairband, and floral dungarees. They are very cute, but they might be huge for her. How do you try on clothes of a toddler? She is not gonna let me. Okay, it's Wednesday. Gray is spending the day with my mum today so I can get a little bit more extra work in. Um, so I'm just packing her bag. This is our Tibber and Mole bag. And just making sure she's got enough snacks for the day, her water bottle. I've made some pasta and put it in this thermos so that they can have lunch together. Um, and just made sure there's enough nappies and everything that she could possibly need for the day. Okay, I've just been kind of setting up for the day and doing my emails, writing a to-do list and just kind of getting in the, the mood. Everything feels a little bit slow this morning, but the first thing I need to do is do some stories for a job. And it's really nice and sunny in this room today. So this is what I'm thinking. I've literally just taken the curtain and then I kind of plonked this vase on it and I'm gonna use this as like a little bit of a sunny backdrop, I think. I'm gonna give it a go. Okay, so I think, as I said, we are making some changes to our kitchen this year, which is not something we were going to do. Like, you know, we've said since we did our kitchen that we really regret not getting a bigger fridge freezer. Our freezer is so small, it's like one and a half drawers and it's just such a pain. Like with kids, everything for her is pretty much frozen. Like it's always full. So anyway, I think we might be upgrading our fridge to a double fridge freezer this year. And we spoke to our kitchen company about like getting a quote, how much it would be to make our larder smaller. So the same larder we have now, but just like smaller so we can fit a bigger fridge next to it. We've spoken to them and that's all fine. But the only issue is that they won't be able to color match the new larder. It will look different to the rest of the kitchen, um, just naturally. So he said that he would recommend repainting the kitchen. So we've like thought long and hard about this for months and we have decided to repaint the kitchen when and if we actually do this whole fridge larder thing. And we're gonna paint it a different color. I know that might be controversial. I feel like photos of my kitchen have been all over the internet and it's quite like a Hague blue kitchen. When we did this, house we used Hague blue flower and ball in the lounge and I love it absolutely no regrets in the lounge the lounge is a north facing room so it shows up as a really dark rich greeny blue color and I love it and we loved it so much that we wanted to use it in the kitchen as well because we wanted a dark kitchen and we loved the color so we did the kitchen and I've never been unhappy with it like no regrets really but 
it does show up a lot more blue than I wanted, especially in photos. In real life, it's a bit darker. In photos, it shows up very blue. And that's because it's a south facing room. And I've said before, like before renovating, I just didn't think much about south facing, north facing, and how different colors show up in different lights. And it just shows very, very blue. So obviously we would have been more than happy with it forever and ever. But now that the opportunity to repaint the kitchen has come about, we might as well, you know, think about do we want to repaint it in the same color or not? So I think we're going to change the color of it. And it's nothing drastic. We're not going lighter, which I think would be quite difficult to paint over. Also, this is the beauty of a wooden kitchen. And I've said this before, like you can paint it. We're just going to go a bit darker. Um, I, I just don't want it that so blue. Um, we've looked into some dark navies, but I, I think if I do a dark navy, I think I'll have the same thing again, where it just looks quite blue when it's sunny. So we're gonna give black a go, maybe. My lens paint is the paint that we actually have on our kitchen. This is matched with Hague Blue, Farron and Ball, but it's actually a My lens paint because they're really, really good for ki painting kitchens. And the guy that we've spoken to who repaints kitchens, it's not, not a cheap job, but I want it done properly. He recommends using My lens. So we've got a sample of My lens Sinner, which is a black. The reason I want to try black is because I think it's more neutral. I know it doesn't sound like a neutral because it's black, but it it is a neutral, I guess, and I think it will go really nicely with the splashback, which is like a concrete, micro concrete. And I think it will also look really nice with our quartz worktop. I think we need that dark kitchen to have the contrast with the worktop, and I love having a dark kitchen. So let's see, as I said, this is not 100% confirmed yet. The kitchen guy wanted us to paint this on, on actually here to test it out. He was like, well, if you're gonna paint the kitchen, just paint the sample on it. But that terrifies me because until the day this kitchen is like getting painted, I won't believe it's happening. And like, I don't want to end, end up with a paint sample on my kitchen. So I'm just gonna paint it on this for now and see if it works and I can hold it up in different lights and see how I feel about it. We have a black cooker and our new fridge might potentially be black as well, but not like a flat black, like a metallic dark black. So it might look like too much, but also it's a very, very bright room and we've got white walls and white worktops. So I, I think, I think it's gonna work but we'll see. Okay, so in the actual pot, it looks like kind of a dark gray. Rich, what time's your call? I'm gonna be finished. I literally will be finished in a sec. I just wanna show them the paint. Rich is shouting at me because he's about to go on a work call. I'm just gonna paint this and then see how it dries. But maybe, this is the emulsion as well, so it's not an eggshell. And also it's gonna dry different on cardboard. But I like already, I like that it's not like a flat black. I think it will look too cheap. It needs to be like dark. But I don't want it to look grey though, because then I might as well use Farrow and Ball off black, which I thought would be too grey. Right, I'm going to paint this, see how it dries. So this kind of gives an idea of what it would look like. It actually dried more black than I thought. So you can see it next to the grey. I can move it around and see it in different lights. I'm going to just leave it there for now and just have a look at it at different times throughout the day. Oh, I look a mess, but I've been to pick up Grey. I'm always just so excited. Um, like, we barely spend any time apart, but on like the one day where I don't see her, I'm always just so excited to go and pick her up and like ask her about her day, and we have such a nice like car journey back home. Um, I'm not gonna vlog anymore today, I'll vlog tomorrow, but I just wanted to quickly show you whilst I make dinner, how different the paint swatch looks in the evening at night when it's dark with like, lights on. At night it doesn't look that different to the Hague Blue, it just looks kind of dark and it's during the day where it looks really different um, and that's kind of what I mean during the day this is such a bright room that suddenly this colour which at night looks like a dark blue it turns into like quite a bright blue. It's so bizarre so yeah so far I'm kind of liking this. I'm into it but I'm just gonna keep trying it out all different times of day cloudy days, sunny days. Also, before I finish this bit where I'm talking about the kitchen, because I'm not going to talk about it again, I know that I'm going to get lots of people saying these few things. One, why don't you paint the kitchen island different to the rest of the kitchen? I don't know if I really like that look. Also, people tend to do that. They'll do like the, dark, the island dark, and then they'll do all the rest of the cupboards like a light shade. And I have thought about doing it a lighter shade, but I, the reason, and I think it looks all right with the worktops, the reason I don't think we should go lighter is because I think it would look really wishy-washy with the gray splashback. Say we do like a, 
a light warm color or that kind of sagey color i think again the sage will look really green and i just think it will look really wishy-washy and like it needs that contrast also we did think about doing that drinks cupboard in a lighter color but again i think against the gray splashback i think it would just wishy-washy is the word i'm going for it's Thursday today, oh my god, I genuinely forgot I was wearing these, and we're off to another playground. We are gonna go find a sandpit today. Grace, show me your cute outfit. Look at this cardigan from Zara, I love it. Morning everyone, it is Friday. Because we switched our days around this week, I'm working today, Rich has gone to another playground with Grey. Um, I've just popped downstairs quickly to measure up for the fridge. We're having a bit of a nightmare because, because this wall is here. To be able to open a door into a wall and make sure there's enough space for like the drawers and stuff to be open, we have to know how wide of a kind of space we need here. And because everyone's working from home, it's really tricky to get hold of like the brand and stuff. Um, so anyway, I've just measured. The width of the fridge is 90.8. We'd rather have the fridge on this side because, because there's no island here, so there's more space to like step back, whereas if the fridge is here, you're a little bit more squash. It wouldn't be the end of the world, but you're a little bit more squash. Okay, so if the fridge is about that wide, half of 90.6 is, the door is about that wide. I wanna know when the door's open. Okay, it won't hit the island. That is good news. I actually haven't got too busy of a day today, which is nice, but I've got some kind of jobs and stuff to finish up and captions to write and things like that. I'm looking forward to the weekend. Okay, I've been sat at my computer for ages. You know, my, my laptop broke like before lockdown. I've just managed to take it into Apple to check what's going on with it. One day it just wouldn't turn on. I literally look after my computers so well. I use a hard drive for everything and it's broken and it's gonna cost 500 pounds to repair. What the hell? So I'm debating like getting a new one because it's, it's, I mean, it's only four years old, but they've changed the like, the hardware and stuff since then. So anyway, I've been talking to Apple all morning and trying to like figure out what is the best thing for me to do. But Rich and Gray just got home and Rich bought me sushi. I'm so excited. Oh my God, I'm starving. So I'm gonna go downstairs and have some sushi. I've just been talking to you guys on Instagram and like sharing little things, little updates that I wish Instagram would do. All right, I'm gonna go down and have some sushi because my stomach is rumbling. Okay, here's our sushi feast. We've got cucumber, avo, prawn, chicken, tuna. Oh, I haven't had sushi in so long. This looks delicious. I just got a couple of bits in the post. I got some stuff from Bloom and Blossom which is a really nice brand and they recently rebranded. I used to love their stuff and their new packaging is really nice. This is Legs 11 a Cooling Leg Serum. This would be nice in the summer. And uh, Spritzy Toes, Revitalizing Leg and Foot Spray. I'm gonna try this. Hmm, nice. I need to take better care of my feet. Also, they sent me ouch anklets to go with it. <laughs> How fun, I haven't worn an anklet since I was a kid. It's very fun and summery, so I I'm wearing it. On you no, on your gap year. I no. bet you wore an anklet on your yes, gap year. Yeah. <laughs> You're so that person. You'd suit an anklet now with your hair. I also got sent some stuff from Fenty Beauty. First of all, from Fenty Skin, the Hydra Visor. So this is an invisible moisturizer, SPF 30. So often SPF products can create a bit of a white cast on your skin, and definitely, definitely, especially, God, my words, especially if you have a darker skin. Oh, this is cool. It comes like separate. Oh, is that so it's refillable? So this is like the casing, and then you go, well, that's cool. Let's try it. Pretty sure her products are fragrance free. Nope, they are not fragrance free, ignore me. I always look to see if things have linolin and linolulin because my friend Debs is allergic to those things and that's normally like a fragrance. Oh, it's very nice though. It's really like, really hydrating and kind of, you probably can't see in this light, but kind of creates like glossy skin. Oh, I hate that I often have to do fragrance free because this smells so good. Oh, I just have to be careful sometimes with my skin, but that's a really nice option, especially if you want an SPF moisturizer. 
They also sent me this new product, which I actually saw on Instagram this morning. It's the Ease Drop. E Ease Drop. Ah, oh, I get it. Blurring Skin Tint. They sent me a few shades to find the right one for me. People always think I'm darker than I am. I think because I've got dark hair and dark brows, um, it's quite funny often the foundation shade that people think I am. Um, I've actually got quite pale skin. Okay, anyway, let's try this. Maybe I need to give it a bit of a shake first. Skin tint, it reminds me of Glossier. Is it gonna be like very, very, very sheer? Like the packaging, it's like a little, it's like a little gem and you just squeeze, squeeze out a little bit of product and it's quite easy to control. I really like that. I find often with my pumps, like the It Cosmetics would just go everywhere, the Neo Nude Armani, I often squeeze out too much product, so I really like that. Let's rub it in and see. Wait, wait, I need to see, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to form an opinion. Ooh, that's nice. It's definitely sheer, but it's quite blurring. Can you tell the difference? Probably not on here, but it's definitely like smoothed out my skin. <gasps> Ooh, I'm excited to try that. That's number four, that's definitely too dark for me. That's number six. And that's number five. <laughs> oh no, this is the lightest one they sent me. Actually guys, I stand corrected. Shade six is perfect for me. Is that six? Yeah, it's actually not a case of like four and then five is darker and then six is darker. They're just different tones. And this one's, I think, seems like more of a neutral tone. I'm gonna have a look online to see how they define the different shades. But I would say six is actually a perfect match for me. I just tried it on my chin. It's my sister's birthday today, so I got her this card from Thoughtful. Pretty much the same as your last birthday, but now you have Lou Roll. Poor thing had two lockdown birthdays. All right, I'm gonna go drop in a birthday card for my sister. It's almost the end of the day. Got that Friday feeling, but also really wanna empty my inbox before the weekend. But I don't normally work Fridays and it's nice because people are quiet. Like my emails are quiet, it's good. I'm just standing in my hallway thinking about lighting because when we do the loft, um, we're gonna have to lose these lights that we've got. This is what we've currently got here. They're from Heels, they're beautiful and um, Tala bulbs so the staircase will go up there and that this ceiling won't be here it will go up and it'll have a skylight and this is too low for um like for example these couldn't hang where i'm standing here because it would hit my head so i think we're gonna have to go for some wall lights maybe i don't know where i don't know how it's gonna work but that's what i'm standing in my hallway thinking about must go make a cup of tea oh my gosh this is so exciting wait you're totally wonky we have ordered a duvet and a pillow for Grey. I can't bear it, she's so grown up. We've gone for one from Moki, which is the same brand that her cot is. I just feel like, I don't think there's like a set age that you're meant to put them in a duvet with a pillow. And some people wait until they've transitioned them to a bed and they keep them in their bag because then at least if they're changing beds, they've got like the comfort of knowing Know, their bag is something they had before but I just feel like I feel mean putting her in a bag even though she sleeps well and she likes it it just feels really squishy like it just feels wrong she feels too big so we thought we would try it ran off with it hugging it so maybe it's a hit i think i might go put it in her bed now and I kind of play in it and see what she thinks i feel like this vlog has been filled with all kinds of random things but i'm just loving watching long rambling vlogs from people at the moment so i hope you guys enjoyed this one too i think that's about all I've got to update you on. We're gonna get takeaway tonight. Gonna to enjoy the weekend. I might have to take some photos tomorrow morning for a job, but other than that, we're having a pretty chilled weekend. I don't tend to kind of do Instagram stories on the weekend anymore, just cause I like to be present with my little family, but I always look forward to a Monday morning catch up. So thank you guys for watching this vlog. I hope you're all doing really well, hanging in there. It will soon be spring, summer, and the sun will make us all feel better about everything. <laughs> That's all, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.